So um, I'm just going to begin here. So I have a case of acute renal necrosis, and I have uh, some introductory slides and um, PFO. So we will just review the case, 42-year-old Caucasian female. We'll just kind of go through. You see her vision was pretty good. Pressures were a little high, and then the anterior chamber showed uh, some inflammation, and here was the back of the eye. And so we see this, and most of us are worried about acute retinal necrosis. She was PCR positive for VZV. And you can see it very quickly progressed, um, despite doing intravitreal injections of phoscarnate and cyclovir and Valtrex. At the time, I was only using one gram three times a day. And um, so we thought we had it under control, but at that last slide, you could see inferior uh, temporally a tractional band. And three days later, she uh, completely detached. And so it did the vitrectomy here, and um, I'm peeling. I couldn't tell if it was hyaluronic that was adherent or if they were uh, fibrous membranes from the acute retinal necrosis and uh, the inflammation. And some people uh, with acute retinal necrosis, they don't know how extensive to go with peeling because the retina is so darn thin. And I try to get out still as much as possible before I go and, and cut the retina, uh, even though obviously a lot of the retina has been damaged. Um, just because I worry you make, can make more breaks. Also, people question whether or not to do PFO and acute retinal necrosis attachments because, again, of thoughts of micro breaks that you can't see that are more posterior um, that can cause some issues with subretinal PFO, which you'll see afterwards uh, I thought might have been an issue. Um, thank goodness I was wrong. <laughs> so visually, post-up day one, hand motions, then she improves to 2150. I think I'm the best thing since sliced bread with acute retinal necrosis here. And then she has this drop in vision. Uh, and then you can go to the next slide. And mysteriously, uh, a PFO bubble appears in the macula. And I was just kicking myself, and I was like, no way, I got all that stuff out. We had a frank discussion, because I really, with acute renal necrosis, did not know what I was going to get with her vision-wise, so I didn't want to take her back unless necessary. But unfortunately, she was noting a change in vision. As you can see here, it becomes thinner and thinner and thinner. And again, it did not obviously look subretinal, but something was going on. And she did notice a change. So we, again, we did go back to surgery. So I did go back in, and um, we you know, removed the oil that was there. And um, after uh, we did that, you'll see here, uh, I was, I was peeling, uh, just wasn't sure, just trying, to get it, just trying to get it to move in general. Couldn't get the bubble to move. Um, so I thought, oh, maybe I have to peel. Um, and sorry, we can speed, I don't know if we can speed this up at all, but um, at one point, uh, what you're going to see is with a little bit of movement and using basically taking uh, Nugent and moving the uh, infusion, uh, I got the ball to the ball of PFO to actually move, which made me feel much better. Because again, it did not look subretinal on the OCT. And here's the quote unquote instant replay. I'm, unfortunately, I don't think it shows up as well. But you can see the little ball kind of squirrel around. And then, thank you, <laughs> out of the macula. Um, uh, no, actually, I took the infusion. And I had the infusion. I was playing with the infusion. And then I uh, used a soft tip to remove it. And then peeled the membrane. Um, I'm not sure where it came from or how it was sequestered, and it was uh, how it had formed. And then again, did more extensive peeling just to make sure there was nothing else that was hiding underneath. Um, so again, the take home points, I still, for acute retinal necrosis, for the detachments, I still will use the PFO. I think, again, personally, I am the kind of person who will try to peel as much as possible, even if I think at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to cut some retina just to uh, get some uh, better stabilization. And I don't know if we have any time for this, so we'll let Dr. Wolf take over from here. I, uh, I think we uh, have uh, had an excellent panel this morning, and uh, un unfortunately, uh, we have uh, reached the uh, end of our time. I would like to thank uh, everyone uh, for coming to this uh, early meeting, and I would especially like to thank our panel, who has uh, traveled from uh, uh, both uh, relatively near and quite far uh, for sharing their expertise with us. Uh, thank you.